Hey man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go the cash app. I appreciate everybody who support me. I really, really do. I don't care if you send 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars. It's much appreciated. And I just want to say thank you. I truly, truly, truly want, uh, want to say thank you. 20 mil bill back at it, y'all. 20 mil bill is back at it. But this is not even funny. This is probably his most egregious thing that he has done um, in recent time. Um, Bill Haney calling Javante Davis a monkey, putting a picture up with Javante Davis. You got content creators putting Javante Davis' face next to a young lady face who got desecrated on. And um, it's just it's just sad, man, because um, I just want to – you got people out here that are – making videos about Calvin Ford and everything like that, but then they not sitting up there talking about what Bill just did to Javante. And this is not the first time Bill has done something disrespectful to Javante. J Bill has sat up there and talked about that man's mother. Bill has sat up there and posted his mug shots, even though his son got in trouble for something that is much worse than what Javante Davis has ever got in trouble for. But Bill, Bill doing these type of things, calling Javante Davis a monkey, and to be honest, like, see, this is what I don't want to have to do. Devin Haney looks much closer to a monkey than 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 um, Javante Davis does. But neither here nor there. You see how that's not cool? You see how that's not cool? But if we're being honest, Devin Haney looks much more like a monkey than Javante Davis does. But you see how that you see how somebody if, if I was Devin Haney, you would feel offended like that. Black people calling black people monkeys is such a self-hatred thing that we go through as a community no different than calling somebody super black no different than making fun of our big lip and our big noses it's no different but the thing is bill is 50 something years old i know bill understands this especially coming from oakland county for oakland california one of the most revolutionary cities understand what, what, what oakland california was going through understand what oakland california was going through when Bill Haney was out here and doing his thing. So y'all got to understand these type of things. Bill Haney is 50 some odd years old. So I know that he fully understands what he's talking about and what he's not talking about. And he did that on purpose. No different than he he did, did the smoking on tank. Like you a young guy sitting up here like, like tanks one of your ops and you, you wishing that much harm that you could smoke on him. People that sit up there and talk about those things, that's what the rappers do. That's what the drill rappers do to their ops. So y'all got to understand that. And then you got these people out here that's not even covering this because Bill Haney and them could do no wrong in their eyes. You know what I'm saying? Bill Haney could do whatever to Javante and it's all good. Just tell him to send the contract. Bill could lie about sending the contract. But then Bill, in the same breath I seen in the interview, y'all sit up there and talk about he's disappointed in Javante Davis because he's never fought a black fighter. But you sitting up there disrespecting a black man. How you going to speak up for black righteousness and black opportunity while calling another black man a monkey? And you don't have to stand on none of that, sir. Your son got to stand on that. Devin Haney didn't say that. Bill Haney said that. And this is why, shout out to man manager Marty, why people who start asking questions, is Bill Haney hurting Devin Haney's legacy, Devin Haney's career, Devin Haney's popularity? This is why people wonder these things because, and then called um, Leonard Ellaby to spook by the door, was disrespectful to Coach Calvin Ford when them two have been on an interview together. It's like, where's the decorum at, man? Where's your class at as a 50-some-year-old man? I like Bill, but Bill has been pushing stuff too far lately. As of late, ever since his son won this fight, ever since before the Regis fight, he always was towing that line, but now it's like he's in full effect. And I truly believe, y'all, that Bill heard me call him 20 mil Bill. I truly believe that because ever since I have been calling that man that he has been on the rampage really being 20 mil Bill. 20 mil Bill is what they call him. I just want y'all to know that, y'all. As a black man, we can't sit up there and keep talking about doing racial undertones with each other, and that's supposed to be your Muslim brother? As a Muslim, he's not even supposed to be talking like that to Javante Davis. It's one thing. for As a Muslim, he is not supposed to let it be going past competitive nature. 
if that makes sense to y'all. He's supposed to have a certain sense for Javante Davis, period. But this is what we've been talking about. You're not supposed to say you're smoking on people and doing these type of things. And you damn sure not even supposed to really be smoking and stuff like that on camera. If I'm being real with y'all, coming from Philadelphia, where at least in the black community here, Philadelphia probably has the biggest Islamic black community population in America, period. It's probably, I guarantee you in Philadelphia, at least 70% of the black people here are Muslim. That's why my name is Kadeem, even though I'm not Muslim, but my father was. That's why my name is Kadeem. And you got names like Rahim and, and Rodim and things like that. That's why um, Farad and Farid, this is why in Philadelphia, a lot of young men names are those names because they come from an Islamic background. So y'all just got to understand, man, that's, was, that's why I know so much about it because where I'm from, you're, you, you just have no choice but to learn about Islam. It's going to be slab dab right in your face. So at the end of the day, man, Bill Haney know he's wrong. He's dead wrong. A lot of people ain't covering this. A lot of people ain't talking about it. And uh, I'm always going to talk about it. I just, like I said, there's been so much going on and I've been trying to enjoy my New Year's and my mother's birthday coming up. So I've just been trying to drown out the social media and you no know, coming into the new year. I want to come in strong with a lot of new content, a lot of positivity, a lot of good things going on. So that's where my focus has been that, you know, to give it a break just for a little bit and go out here and do what you got to do. But Bill Haney continues to give you me free content, but this is content that I don't want to create. Like Bill, for you to be doing that, man, you having very, um, we'll, we'll, we'll say raccoonish behavior, my guy, and it's not acceptable and is never okay. The colorism, the, the, the talking about our features as black people to make fun of those things. And that's what gives people a little sense of insecurity and want to get um, BBLs and get nose jobs and face jobs. This stuff is real. Make people want to bleach their skin. And Bill Haney, you are continuing to attack this young man for no reason, but then say that you want to fight. You're taking it past just it being competitive. I don't like you. I'll beat you up. I'll you beat me up. No, you're taking it much, much, much further than that. You're making it personal, a little too personal. Because even people that make it personal, I know people who hate each other that don't talk to each other like that. I know people who can't wait to see somebody and when it's on site, but he ain't calling them a monkey or a little black ugly. He not doing none of that. She's not doing none of that. You got to understand it's still a certain respect we got to have for each other as a people. And you would think um, Bill Haney being 50 years old, being in the, in the religion of Islam, you would think that he would understand that, but he obviously doesn't. He obviously doesn't. If people was running around here calling Devin Haney a monkey, if people was running around here showing off Devin Haney mug shots, Bill Haney would be the first person in here saying something about it. Bill Haney would be the first person talking about, that's not how you do your black brothers and this is why we can't get further. It just seems like anything to make Javante Davis look bad, these content creators and Bill Haney, 20 mil bill is what I call them. They, um, 20 mil bill is what they call them. Um, they're really going on an attack to push this issue and push this narrative. And I told y'all that these content creators be sitting up here talking about, I like Tank, but they keep coming with negative comments, keep coming with negative commentary. But when Bill Haney and Devin Haney does something, you don't hear nothing from them. I want y'all to pay attention to those content creators. I ain't going to say no names, but I just want y'all to pay attention. Javante Davis got to fight them at 140. They got a bunch of Javante Davis videos about what he need to do, but I don't see none of them. And we talking about really big content creators. I don't see them talking about this issue and telling Bill how wrong he is because you know what they want to do. They want to sit down and have interviews with him. They want because Bill Haney is much more personable than Javante Davis team, which I don't even think is all way all the way true because Coach Kenny and Coach and and, and uh. And Coach Kyle, they, they do do podcasts and stuff like that. They just see through the BS like I be telling y'all. Why do y'all think these some of the content creators that I mention when I do mention them personally, why do y'all think that they get the backlash or they're not going to get those interviews? It's clearly not just me feeling that type of way. And I don't know Javante Davis. But I know that he's responding and feeling similar to the way that I feel about a bunch of things.
But yeah, y'all, it's just it's it, we got to stop this as a people. We got to stop this as a people. Yeah, yo, we got to stop this as a people. We can't continue to allow in the windows and, um, you know, just certain um, hatred behavior towards each other to we allow this these things to continue with us as a people. And this is why we can't go further. This is why two black fighters can't sell a whole bunch because we don't know. You don't know how to properly build it up. You going to a point where it's like Tank Davis might not just want to fight you in the ring. And it should never be past that. Us as a people, especially those two young men in the profession, two of the biggest names in the divisions that they're at. It, the sport don't deserve that. That's not that's not how you get fights done. Yeah, you get fights done by talking trash. You get fights done by, you know, talking your stuff, saying you'll be the but with the racial undertones. And they're personally attacking people and they character and this, that, and the third, especially when that's not called for, we have to stop that. And I know that Bill Haney understands that. I know that Bill Haney is old enough to have been through that. Bill Haney is, is comes from one of the most revolutionary cities. And I'm not giving Bill Haney, uh, uh, um, I'm not giving 20 mil Bill, no excuses. I'm not giving him no slack on what he's doing. I believe he know exactly what he's doing. See, I don't underestimate Bill Haney's, um, intelligence a lot of his fans do because they give him excuses well maybe he misspoke maybe he ain't know this maybe he ain't nah bill haney not doing that when he jumping in front of a camera he know exactly what he's doing when he posts his stuff on social media he know exactly what he's doing and you're disrespecting his intelligence by saying he doesn't so y'all know what this is man dean by any means i'll hit y'all on the cash app hit me on the cash app at dean by any means dollar sign Dean, by any means, I truly, truly appreciate it, y'all. Thank you.